Welcome to the man cave. Come on, Deacon. Come on. Okay, so we are going to add on our tail light, we're going to um, make it strobe when we hit this, the brake light. So we have to figure out how to bust into this wiring. And uh, we're going to use this module uh, for an LED stop light. And we need to figure out which one of these wires um, is the one that's going to the stop light. So the most obvious ones uh, that we can eliminate would be this one, which is the um, turn signal. There's another one and that's a turn signal. That leaves us, uh, there's some stubs sitting here. I don't know exactly what all that's about. Um, and then this is our going to the tail light. So one of these wires is going to be the magic um, brake light signal. Let's do it again. Okay, green's got power on it. Yellow, nada. Brown, nada. White, nada. Nada. You notice that the the white wire that's just plugged out. It's not even being used. So, um, but let me get a bungee cord now. Tie this in. So the brake light's on. And see which one of these wires is a sup. So green we, we've already verified uh, it had power on it. Now I'm looking at the yellow wire. Yellow wire now has power on it. The brown wire does not have power on it. Oh, and there's a connector. And um, rather than uh, cut into this harness, um, I'm gonna cut into the tail light. I figure if I mess something up, then I'm not gonna mess up the harness on the, um, the bike. And by the way, this um, little plug here, uh, that actually goes to a light. There's a white light underneath here that can be used as a tail light. And um, so I may need to do a revision on my previous um, license plate if I decide to move it up. So in the meantime, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to cut into this section right here, which I, I can always uh, put some shrink tubing over. So the wire that we want to in question is going to be the yellow wire on here that I want to pull out. This is the actual uh, so I'm going to go ahead and 
do two cuts in here just to give myself plenty of room I'm going to cut the brown wire and I'm going to cut the yellow wire and then we're going to twist uh, let me, I'm going to get rid of some of this, this extra casing on here because we'll follow up with some shrink tubing. Um, this is the inside. All right, so on the this part here where it says in, this is going to go um, toward the connector. And I'll make a good mechanical joint this way. And I'll follow up with some solder. The other side of this, the out, that's going to go to the other side of this. that. Then the two browns. We're going to take the two blacks. And the two browns and we're going to put them together. on that, that wire and then I'll tie try not to let's see how I can so we're not turning this into a rat nest yet do the two browns together twisted and then the whole kit caboodle those guys being tied together just like that so let's uh, kind of do a recap uh, the black wires are joined together um, to the brown wire the yellow wire is going to go on the um, um, coming from the bike is going to go into the in the out red wire will go connect up to where we just cut the yellow wire over there so right now let's just test it um, see if we're good so Oh, hold it. In order to make it all work, all right, we have to actually plug in the connector, right? Okay, make sure we're not shorting anything. I'm going to hit the front brake. There you go. Pretty cool. All right, so I'm, now what I'm gonna do, I'll just, I'm gonna get out my soldering iron and then we'll, um, we'll solder that and put shrink tubing over it. This does. Get 
to the get to the brown one. I'm going to slide the trunk tubing over that and there and kind of grab all these guys here together the brown one and cover up that little glitch I did. Okay, and I'm going to do uh, keep going on there. Double check it. Okay, that part's working fine. Now I want to put uh, one more um, and since I cut all the other stuff out of here, right? Um, I want to put another piece of shrink tubing Shrink wrap that. Nope. He's gone. <clears throat> Plug this all back in.
And then it's a matter of stuffing everything underneath there again. inside there. Okay. Uh, next, uh, I don't know. I have to look at what's going on here. Um, I can actually move the license plate up to here because there's a little white light in here that if we just uh, put in a plug. I'll experiment with that, but let's close this video out for tonight. Okay, thanks for watching. Well, one last thing before I wrap this video up. I want to just give you a teaser. So, what do I have here? I have my Nomad Adventure um, fairing and tower kit with special decals with Deacon Teller over. Isn't that going to look sharp? It's got the MSC steering stabilizer, a couple of these Vision X lights, handlebar top mount, and oh, and over there, we got your official Bark Buster um, setup. So, in orange, of course. So, this is going to start getting a little bit more involved. I may have to put some miles on the bike just simply to, uh, oh, here's another, another foot. Okay, I have to put some more miles on the bike just to make sure it's running before I get too carried away cutting and um, all the wiring and everything like I just got done doing. Anyway, well, thanks for watching.